right, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your June 1 to 7. How are you? And if you're an old fart just like me, okay, who knows what the drill with the tarot. Okay, you can move right away to the read. Okay, I'm just going to be talking to the new ones, okay, to the newbies. Uh, this is the weeklies. It's June 1 to 7. And then uh, we already have the week bi-weeklies, the monthlies, and the mid-months. Check those out. Um, we're going to start first with Cartum and C, okay, and then we'll proceed with the tarot. Cheers for my coffee today. Sponsored, not sponsored. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Excuse me. Once I talk about the tarot, because I had a french fry. Oh, spicy one. They did a spicy french fry. Um, once I talk about the, the planet, sorry, it's going to be based on Vedic Sidera Astrology. And then, um, I think that's it. We're ready. Okay, so here it is. Uh, Bougie deck also. Forgot my first tarot deck is right here. I'm going to be talking more about it as we go, as we proceed. Hmm. Cardomancy is going to be a vibe card. Okay, so I can read it traditional. Sometimes I don't. It's more of like how you will be, you know, actions, feelings going on around the, the week. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Got a Knight of Diamonds. Got a Two of Hearts. Got a Three of Diamonds. Okay. The diamonds are forever. Mm. Here we go. Nine of Diamonds. Two of Hearts. Two of Diamonds. I feel you like you... Okay, let's focus on one first. Because if I hold it three... Oh my god, like I get so much. Oh my. <laughs> so, it's so important. I feel here that you... You feel like this person will walk out of your life. You... This is what you're feeling, okay? Ow. <laughs> so, this is what you're feeling. You feel like they're gonna walk out of your life. You feel like this is it, huh? So, uh, so this past week, I felt it was over. It was done, nothing anymore. That was it. So we said our goodbyes. You know, you know, it's, you know, it's like even though you guys didn't say goodbye, you were already at the part where I think we've reached it here. This is where you say goodbye, I say hello. You say goodbye, I say hello. You know, because so, one was saying it's like this is it, another one's like no, this is not it. Uh -huh. You have the two of hearts. Dug 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 right? <laughs> I love this person so, so I love this person and the bros okay the bros represent yourself over here bros okay. you love this girl right or you love this guy okay whichever floats your boat you can't okay one day you're saying goodbye and you know the next day you're saying I can't sorry I can't sorry 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 your best friend is tired of talking to you. People are tired to talk to you. Okay. The only people who's happy to talk to each other is the two of you. <laughs> okay. It's not a push-pull kind of energy. It's more of like, how about I push the two of you together already so that we don't go to this route again. Okay. This is how Sal feels for the two of you. Uh, it's not push-pull. It's just like you guys never find a medium for each other. Um, to connect, yeah. So you never really. It's just like, if only we can go to that point where we connect already. It's just like, because one day we're connecting, the next day we're not. And it's like this is insane. Two of hearts, three of diamonds. Okay. This is when both of you always try something. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can do that. So you're trying to save a relationship that I feel is very love-centered. I feel that you're trying to save a relationship um, that means a lot to you, of course. I mean, you wouldn't be here if this person doesn't mean a lot for you. But you just don't know yet. I mean, can we still save it? I say save by the bell. Mm-hmm. And you know it means save by the bell. Figure it out. Okay, what the save by the bell means. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what your tarot is saying over here. Let's see. 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see. Oh. Bougie deck comes in diamond. Diamond comes with a tarot class. The, the, the uh, gold one, of course. Just the deck. Okay. There we go. Pisces. Oh. Gut judgment. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Scorpio. Reconciliation. Um, this is about... Uh, uh, I feel that... There. Okay. Because it takes a while. Um, remember, for, uh, in this deck, it's about a good judgment is putting a good shoe. Okay. You ain't gonna go to a marathon wearing, you know, those uh, stilettos, right? You're not gonna go um, climb Mount Everest, okay, um, wearing those knee-high boots, okay? Um, you're not gonna go to a wedding with an Uggs, okay? <laughs> Don't in a shade, okay? You make a call, okay? This is a judgment. You make a call. Do what is right for you, right? And once you slip into those shoes, mm, you feel a perfect fit. Committed, right? Your, your, your feet will be committed to that shoe. Fits. That's a judgment. Mm. I'm so amazed when we made this deck. I didn't really see it as like, like oh my god, like... Everything was amazing. The full card, which is you, Piscean. Okay. Like, the bag over here represents, okay. Okay, the per you as a person. And trusting, okay, because these are the ethers, these are the guides. You don't know if this mother butterfly will give up one day, okay. And these two over here who's just gossiping, you don't know if you can trust them. But yet you give yourself to these guides. Oh, that's a, that's a leap of faith right there. Second chances for both of you. I told you, both of you are, you know, 7-Eleven, I said, both of you are there. Trying to make a decision, okay, if you guys will, can still be together. Got a sun card. So, they're the center of my life. They're my sun. I mean, no, no, not like a sun, sun. You know, like, my soul, okay. I call it my, the spiritual mate now. We don't, I mean, like, I differ myself. From calling it soulmate, a spiritual mate, someone who is uh, who's who can be a friend, a partner, a lover, a husband, a wife, everything. Soulmate is like a ooh, bouju, bouju, you know. It's like people just put too much power into it, so I can't, you know, I can't. I mean, I'm, I'm slowly deviating from it. Slowly, not you know. This is a spiritual mate, you know. Your best. A bet that you can grow old with. Yes, Sun will, you know, say, you know, say, same goes uh, goes in the same direction. Sun and Taurus right now, Vedic Savior. Okay, so the pool between the two of you, you can trust this energy. I feel very good. Got a nine of swords. Aqua got this also, but someone got into their head again. You know, it's like. Why now? Why you doubt now? You said we're gonna be like this. You said we're gonna work this out, right? Why now? Okay. Why why you get scared now? I thought we we're gonna take a chance on this. Someone got some migraine overthinking over there. Okay. If they had an acupuncture, they use head acupuncture over here. Under the sun and the judgment. Magician. We can do this, is what you're saying. We can do this, we can work it. Virgo Gemini, Emperor. I, they say they will. Magician with the Emperor, they say they will. Driven, both of you are driven. Both of you will contribute to the relationship in a different way. Magician knows, do you need the Ace of Cups? Do you need my love? Do you need my passion? Do you need to communicate? Ace of Swords, you know. Emperor is just like, you know, they will be straight up forward. It's just like, okay, I'm scared right now. I don't know what to do. They're not going to be hiding from you. This is a good person, I feel. Okay? So, Sun and Aries. So this is a lot of Sun. Okay. Which is Sun and Aries exalted. It could have been... Something could have been happening in the past a month and two weeks between the two of you. Okay? I feel like this is about sorting, you know, each other out to finally be together. Okay? Thank you very much, Pisces. I'll see you again. Link down. I'm going to continue this reading. Link is in the description box. It says extended. And then you have the bougie deck over there, the diamond, the gold, okay, the gold, the gold. <laughs>
Sal is out. Sal is out. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful one in seven, Pisces. I'll see you in extended. Bye. Hi, everyone. I just want to welcome you guys to my second webinar, which is for Jupiter. We are going to be exploring the planet of abundance, the planet that gives us our potential with regards to our growth in different ways in life that connects us to our luck the planet that gives us a joy of fulfillment with regards to our karaka as a spouse in our chart or the masculine energy that we are looking for on Jupiter webinar June 20th join me at 11 a.m. the link below